Are you struggling to save money? Well, luckily for you, there's a show called Extreme Cheapskates, and you can learn some epic money-saving tips. Hello everyone, my name is Elliot, and today we're going to be reacting to some of the worst of Extreme Cheapskates. Now, I think I'm a pretty frugal man, but this is going to teach me how to save a few pounds here and there. And speaking of saving money, that goes into today's spot. <laughs> there is no sponsor. But today, we are going to meet Miss Kate Hashimoto lives in New York, and she is one of the worst of Extreme Cheapskates that we're going to watch. But if you do enjoy this style of video, then hit like and subscribe, and I'll be posting a lot more. Also, I forgot the comment showcase in the last video because, of course, I did. Now let's get into the video. I have only a dollar thirty here. Would you take that? If I have to spend money, I cannot avoid it. I will try to pay as little as possible. I've been in that very same position where you only have a little bit of change, but not enough for a certain amount. Chip shops are the best for this. If you go in and say, I've only got 80 p but there's a pound charge, they will give you 80 p worth of chips. That's Elliot's money-saving tip of the day. I am a cheapskate for a number of reasons. After I graduated from college, I pretty much assumed I'd be employed for the rest of my life. <laughs> Me and my degree can tell you, that's, that's bullshit. <laughs> my media degree has basically given me the fact that I know how to use a camera and a job at McDonald's. That's what it gave me. I don't work at McDonald's anymore though. Thank goodness, because the lines at McDonald's are very, very long. I have better things to do, like this, watching this. I mean, she, she has a purse, why is she using an envelope? I'm not going to walk around with a cup of money when I've got a perfectly good good wallet. And that leads us on to today's sponsor, Ridgewine. <laughs> Why does this joke make me laugh all the damn time? And when I actually get a sponsor, then you'll just think, ah, oh, he's just taking a purse. No, I'll legit try and tell, sell you something. Boy's got to live. I'm an extreme cheapskate. I've got I to gotta live. If Raid Shadow Legends hit me up, boy, I'm taking that. <laughs> Use a paper towel in the public restroom. I'm drying off hands that I washed clean, so I keep them and reuse them. That, that's not how washing your hands works. That's why we're all in quarantine. I'm drying off hands that are already clean. That is not true. Bacteria still stays on your hands, uh, even after you clean them, so you gotta wipe it off. So that is not a clean tissue. So she's just carrying around mass amounts of COVID. It was this woman all along. And just because she's an Oriental Asian does not make me racist for saying that. Don't cancel me. I'm not saying anything else. Otherwise, I'm just going to be digging and digging an even bigger hole for myself. We use the paper towel many times. Why pay to throw something away? Especially when I can get it for free. Why doesn't she just steal the entire roll if she wants to get stuff for free? Why pay for kitchen towel and kitchen tissue when it's for free in public restrooms? You could take a little sandwich bag or a Ziploc bag and just fill that bastard with some soap and then just escape. Who's gonna stop you? Toilet police? Chairs. Oh, please don't say she's gonna... Oh, she's just gonna go in public and just picking up pick a garden chair out of the, out of the bin. That's, that's kind of gross. That's how you get disease. She's in New York as well. That's like home of rats. Ratland, if you will. I mean, you could save a couple quid or you could get cholera. Mm, I know what I'd rather have. All right, let's go see a house. Let's see how someone who lives in New York where the rent is probably $1,000 a week. I mean, it's just a bit of a mess, isn't it? I don't Is this extreme cheapskates or just hoarders? This is my makeshift couch. I found this in the trash outside the school dorm end of the school year. It's also my guest bed when people visit. Imagine going to visit this woman and she's like, oh, do you want to stay over? I've got a crate you can sleep on. I'd rather sleep on the floor. This is my bed where I sleep. And oh, she does have a bed on the floor. Mats. Okay it's then. Studio. To be fair, I like being on the floor. So that looks comfy. I would sleep there. My place came with a dishwasher. The dishwasher is a waste of uh, water and energy. I mean, washing things by hand is like, it may take a bit longer, but it's cheaper. So I see where she's coming from. I prefer to wash stuff by hand. This is an electric stove that I got using a free gift certificate. You got a free stove with a gift certificate? And she just stores it in the dishwasher. 
and I also have some magazines here to um, use it as a table. Why does she need to use magazines as a table when we've seen when we went into the house? She literally has a table with a chair. So why does she need to use the smallest location in the house to eat from? I mean, that's basically like saying, I have this whole wide space to choose from. Let me just sit in the cupboard. I normally don't spend money on clothes. I haven't bought any clothes in probably eight years. You haven't brought clothes in eight years because you try and haggle the man down. You tried this earlier. You tried to haggle the man to $5 when it was 10. What's even the point when you just went to the stop and swap and went to go and get the clothes? What, what am I talking about? I I got these shorts on sale in 1999. 1999? Those shorts are just a bit younger than me. That's weird to think. I'm almost the same age as shorts. Today I'm using a free sample of detergent I got. Okay, I need to get detergent and bleach onto my clothes before I put them in the shower to soak. Surely putting detergent and bleach in the shower with you is not a good idea. I'm not really too knowledgeable about that, but it doesn't sound like a good idea. Imagine you're trying to wash your face and then you get bleach in your eyes. Enjoy being blind. I don't um, use the dryer. Not only does the dryer um, waste money, but it shrinks clothes and it wears clothes out faster. It doesn't matter if you t dry the clothes to tatter them out more. You're dead broken anyway. She's worrying about the quality of literal trash. Oh, I don't get that. I don't get that. These clothes aren't going to get tattered and worn, but they're tattered and worn anyway. I don't use toilet paper. I just use water and soap to clean myself off after going to the bathroom. I... You said you don't use toilet paper. Why have you got the paper towels? Does that not count? Take this water bottle that I have and I rinse myself up and by just urinated I'm done with that. I don't like caring about this woman going to the toilet. Let's just skip this bit. And if you did enjoy that video of me ragging on a woman who wears literal rags, then be sure to hit like and subscribe. This was an unscripted video. Maybe in the future I can script them a bit better or at least have some points that I want to talk about because I didn't for this one. I just winged it. Do you think that was a good idea? Leave a comment saying if it was a good idea or not. But anyway, my name's been Elliot. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all next time.